So this is the Standing Hill Railway, or it will be when a game loads anyway. Yeah, look at that. Well, okay, I didn't get time to have my drink. We'll get on with the drink as soon as we're going, shall we? Right, before we do anything, let's just have a the usual look at the map. So this is the north end of the route. <coughs> Yard and loco servicing and some sidings. And then we follow single track. We've got another yard down here. Again, we carry on. We've got some more stuff going on at this town. A bit more down here. Until we get to um, Tifum at the other end, which is more sort of a smaller so, um, terminus. So let's get going. <sighs> that's the one that's wrong. Only one of those look wrong. I hit that one. One billion hex, thank you for the f the host. Peter Toon fan, is this real or fictional? I believe it is uh, fictional. Oh, that's better. <coughs> Good night, Steve. Thanks for Stephen Jam for the host. Right, so we're driving the BR4F. Must admit, doesn't get much of an airing. Which is a shame, it's a lovely loco. Oh, I know, I've got to drive forward in standing high. I set up a little bit of a scenario, but. Uh, That's our ideal fire mass of 253. Wait for the stop at instruction. Do I drink Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi. <laughs> Every time. Uh, this route is probably a lat long zero zero, to be honest. There is no map, Stephen Jam. It's there. It's this is a fictional route, and I think we're in the ocean. Everyone is surprised I drink Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can disable the map. You're right. That's probably a good idea. Let's take the map out. Right, so we're just going to collect up to these uh, few wagons and then we'll just drive the length of the route. <coughs> right, off we go. blue line is going the right way. It is. There's 
S3 is fine spot. I believe this is intended to be a British route, yes. Uh, yeah, I did, Dave. I heard about the last surviving pilot from Dan Busters. Um, passed away, if I understand it correctly. The signal is red, never mind. Right, so that was the line off to those sidings, and we're now making our way on to the uh, yeah, there's the sidings there. So we're on our way. Oh, this is nice. I like this whole idea down here. That's really cleverly done. That looks really good. It's a runway. I thought that looked like an air traffic control tower. With a Cessna of some sort. Get to watch trains and planes. My word, this seems like the right place to be. Forty limit down here. <coughs> Cheers, Adama. See you later. The NSF map's turned off because this is a fictional route, so the map doesn't really make any sense.
far will fault I haven't checked the junctions. Right, we are clear to go through. So this is the next place. Oh, I'm loving the detail on the scenery. Right, we're over doing the coal. Being if wants to look at the map, this is the northern part of the route of Standing Hill. And you've got uh, Lake uh, Maddy, Wellow, Lanford, Lambton, and then Tifa. I believe this is the uh, brake van from Western. In fact, I know it's the brake van from Western Scotland. Like Scotland, it's got the it's got the guard in it that I put in there. <coughs> Better. Um, but I believe the brake van itself was indeed a Dutch attraction. Indeed. How long is the route? I don't know. We've only got 4.8 miles to get to Tipham, so I'm going to guess 6 or 7 at the absolute most. Spiff, what's it's the first time you learned to this game? What's the point of it other than driving from A to B? Well, um, 
kind of the point is to drive from A to B, but it's what you do along the side, and sometimes it's the uh, uh, it's the sound, uh, it's the way that you actually what you have to do to get from A to B. Um, but sometimes there's also shunting to do, um, and there's a, a bit of puzzle solving sometimes in terms of figuring out what you're doing in the yard. Um, but getting from A to B in a train is not as straightforward as it sounds. I mean, this is actually not too bad because I'm not really having to touch it too much, but uh, some of the other trains you've uh, got quite a lot to manage. This one is, uh, this one's taking on water really slowly. Oh, fire mass is way too low. <laughs> See, I'm already failing. Not watching what I'm doing. Check my route again. It's more a case of figuring out where the emergency brakes are applied. <laughs> yeah, probably actually. farmhouse over there. It's a nice terrain actually, I'm quite liking the shape the, the shaping of the terrain. Uh, yeah Francois I've just I've just been told of that a couple of times so what am I I'm gonna go through and revise it. Obviously when it said it was multiple choice um, it didn't mean you can select multiple choices so uh, I will revise that And, uh, and reissue the form. Apologies to everybody, that hasn't quite worked correctly. Uh, actually, yes, I got your Class 101 scenario, that's uh, that's in the list, I saw that today. Oh, we can turn off the uh, water. Oh, the fire mass is almost back up to where it needs to be. Where are we now? We are coming through Lant Lambton. Couple of a mile, you would like that one to be second instead of first, okay? Slowing down now anyway. I've got a minute. I can just swap these over. There you go. It's now second instead of first. Means Joe's scenario is first. And I'll close the firebox. Okay, firebox is still doing all right. Do I know some of the assets required for this? Not off the top of my head, BNSF. No. Right, we need to slow down some now. Thanks. 
20. Oh, it says 30. Crikey. Who remembers that um, that toy? It was like a it was a kid's toy. It was a yellow thing, and you used to it was to teach you to spell. Um, I'm thinking of releasing my own version of it. It's called Speak and Spad. <laughs> Got to do more on the Bergen line. Yeah, absolutely, BNSF. I need to go back to some of the lines we've done and do second scenarios on them. At the moment, I'm just sort of covering plenty of workshop routes, lots of variety. The author of this route... Oh, that's bad form. I haven't put the author of the route on, have I? The author of this route is Ditjo. D-I-T-J-O. There you go. It says it now. I haven't brought my... Uh Bring the uh, brakes back into release. I didn't bring. The, where's the sand? Just switched off. Wow! Talk about boiler pressure abuse. No, that's what's wrong. It's just died again. Oh no! Reset it while it's driving. What's going on tonight, folks? Why does this keep dying? Oops, that ain't gonna work. No, shush. On boiler pressure. Seriously abused this loco apparently. Coal going in. Let's get it back up to ideal fire mass. Blower on. Dampers open. Is it stopping? What in earth is going on? It's a handbrake on or something daft all of a sudden. No. The brakes are off. Mind you, only having 90 psi probably isn't helping matters somewhat. Never mind, boiler pressure's coming up now. <laughs> yeah, pressure's coming up now, and we've got about a 3,000 uh, generation rate positive, so... When I'm in town, do people come up to you and ask if I'm that guy from the DTG, DTG streams? Funnily enough, no. As outrageous as that is. It's like when we went to Insomnia and not one person asked my autograph. Asked, like, well, I'm not coming back here, obviously. It's 
Thomas Tank Engine would win the show series. <laughs> that boiler pressure is coming back up. Wow, that steam generation usage rate is right up there, though. Right, I'm going to put the brakes on and just reduce the... Uh, We need boiler pressure. Doesn't help that I've overdone the uh, fire mass. <laughs> Come on! You can do it! Yeah, I'm Max on tonight's show, I killed a 4F. Absolutely. Doesn't help that I put the fire mass way over the top. Never mind. <laughs> <coughs> Same as Steve is near to witness a carnage. I'm sure everyone is sitting there frantically clicking clip, 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 clip. When I look on there, I'm sure Video Game Me, the front page of Video Game Me, will have 500 clips of me with the dead 4F. And if they weren't, they probably are now. <laughs> Starting to go up a little bit faster now. <clears throat> I should be in the cab watching the game. I should. I'm trying to put on a bit of a show, of course, but... Ah, uh, look at this. We've only got this little bit left to go. Let's have a look around, shall we? While we're waiting, let's have a look at the scenery. Well, that's rather splendid. I don't even remember going over the bridge. What is going on? Nice farmhouse. The public house. A screenshot, that's a good idea. Let's have a screenshot of my train failed on the side of the track. What are we up to now? 112. The fire mass is slowly coming down, which means it will get faster and faster. Uh, Adam, you're gaming? Yes, I shall be streaming tomorrow. to see if I've got enough to get this thing going. I need to get it going. How much do we need? Well, I think I don't. I think think it's. I think it's only got up to about 170. This one. So.
get some air over the fire, we should get a boost on the temperature as well as using up more of the fire mass. It's better the fire mass is coming down a bit now. Right, seem to be accelerating all right now. Gouger says, we'll have to start using my Sunday name when you fail. Oh, Matthew. Biomass is coming down, boiler pressure is going up. It's now a good time to say water levels going down as well. carriage siding for the uh, scenario end. Right, nearly there now. <coughs> Going a whopping 13 miles an hour. Good night, Joe. How long does it usually take to set up a DTG steam stream? These days it's about half an hour. <coughs> Someone else sets up all the artwork for it and then I just have to set it all up. Set the machine up. If I'm using somebody else's machine then they set it up all up for me. I just sit down and get on with it. Seventeen miles an hour. Oh, steady on. Well, it's level at the moment. I don't know if it was steep earlier on, but we're certainly accelerating a lot better now. Don't need to be uh, accelerating now. We're going to be stopping in a moment. I like that the, some of the detail on these station areas is really quite good.
it. So that's been a look, albeit with a slight hiccup, at the uh, this route. <clears throat> this is um, Standing Hill Railway by Ditcho, and you can get that one on Steam Workshop. Right, that's the end of that one. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> changing route. All right, let's see if I can get the next one and do a little bit less. Not bad um, on that one. Right, this one's called Running Half Empty. It's on the Riviera in the 50s line. It's one of the ones that comes with it. <clears throat> 